Yes, yeah, so anyway, um, that's how you use a wing nut to properly secure and fasten something to something else. You spin it and it's, it's a really economical way to fasten things to other things using a wing nut, you see? And, uh, uh, oh, you're not even listening, you're just nodding. Okay. Oh, oh, welcome to j Ha! So anyway, um, I'm going to tell you about my love affair. Oh! Uh oh. I'm stuck. Uh, help! J Rev, can you call out for some help, please? Uh, help! Help! Did you guys call me? Yes, we did. Yeah. What's going on here? Well, I was getting really bored. And then I played freeze, but with myself, and then it paused, and now I'm stuck because no one can press play for me, and this was helping my boredom, but now I'm really bored because I'm really stuck. Well, I think I can help. Let's just, I'll give this a go. Hold okay. on. Okay. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Oh. J-Rev. The bucket of boredom busters has saved me yet again. It always does. Good old faithful bucket of boredom busters. Bucket of boredom busters. What a guy. What a guy. What a lad. Hey, um, j -Rev, did you want to find out what we're doing this week? Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. Would you like to? I would love to. Thank you very much. Ooh, it's a bit warm today. Mm. <gasps> One more. <gasps> It's a Lego challenge again today. Yes, Lego. This yes! one is. Do you want to know what it is, or yeah. you want to find out? Oh, uh, let's find out. What is it? Mm, okay, it is knots and crosses. Oh, we're going to do that. I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, I'll go. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. What's up, J Rev? Today we are going to be building another board game, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, this one is going to be noughts and crosses, but we're, instead of drawing it, we're going to make it out of Lego. So um, all you're going to need is some flat base plate that you can use and probably some skinny bricks that you can use as well. And you're also going to need to have a search through your collection and find the same of two colours. And you want to have enough that you can have uh, around five turns um, in your noughts and crosses. Because the idea is that you're going to have um, a grid that you're going to then put uh, either your green brick or your orange brook, dirt brick, depending on what colour you are, and you need to connect three in a row. So we're just going to build up a frame that we can then uh, play noughts and crosses in, and hopefully you have someone that you can verse at home. So I'm going to put these aside. I love these colours. How cool are they? All right. So we've got our base plate, and we just need to build up our uh, our grid just using some of these skinny bricks. So it doesn't matter what color they are, but we just need to make sure that it's kind of evenly spaced. So let's see here. Uh, if I put one there, one there, one, two, three, four studs, one, two, three, four studs, one, two, three, four studs, perfect. Okay, so as long as I do a line all the way across, then that should theoretically work. Small one there, just a two by one, and oh, that's a bit long. Do that, and another two by one. And it doesn't matter what colours you use, but I've got a couple of white pieces here that I might might be able to make work for everything. So obviously that's a little bit too too uh, long. So hmm, we do instead. I think we'll just need to make it up with some different colours. I think. Uh, let's use some. Purple. And we need to count across one, two, three, four studs. So there. And then we need to just continue that line up through there. So let's use. Ooh. Might be easiest uh, if you use colours that aren't like the bricks that you're using uh, for your markers, for your knots and crosses. That way you're not going to get confused. Uh, we'll use this red one. We'll count one, two, three, four studs across. So we're going to put it there. And use another purple here. I really like this purple as well, it's great. And one last colour. 
Hello. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares that we can put our bricks in. And you can choose to build this up however you want, but you just need to be sure to be able to uh, get the brick in and out of the grid. Um, so I think that we might just build up the edges here so that the bricks don't fall off the edge. And then that way I could take this somewhere like on a road trip or something, and I know that the, the, the bricks aren't gonna fall up off. So I'm just gonna build up around the edges here and then uh, it will be a bit skinnier on the outside than on the inside, but I think it's more important that the, the game is able to be taken somewhere without everything spilling out. So let's do that. Springy Lego. Cool. Last one. There we go. So we've got our noughts and crosses play field. All we need now is our bricks of different colours. So uh, you just need to get three in a row to be able to win a game. So I'm going to put one here. And then my opponent might put one here. So then I'm going to go, okay, well, I want to try and make three in a row, so I'm going to put one down here, but then my opponent's going to go, nope. So now I have to think, okay, can't go here, so I'm going to have to probably go along here. So I'm going to put one over here and hope that he doesn't see that I'm trying to make three in a row, and I also blocked my opponent from making three diagonally. So they might be like, nope, you can't do that, and I might be like, Oh, well, I'll just put one over here. And then they'll be like, ha ha, we win. So that's how you play the game. And then you can just reset. So you tip your parts out, make sure that you have all the right colors for the players. And there you go. So maybe you can improve on this design. I would love to see your ideas. Um, send them into the gallery. That'd be awesome to see. I would never in a million years have thought that you could make Noughts and Crosses the game out of Lego. Yeah, and the cool thing is that you can do whatever you want with Lego. You can make any game or anything out of Lego. You just need to use your imagination. And Sarah, mm -hmm. I hope that I have set a real hot challenge for our friends at home to make something and send it into our JREV Letterbox. <laughs> Letterbox is great. It's great. It means that we can see what everyone's been up to. You know what, guys? I think it's about time that we um we just hit pause for a minute. I just really wanted to acknowledge someone really special, dear to this show. I just think who's that? when I think of someone who's got a good imagination mm -hmm. and is great at building Lego, I think of you. So, Chris, well done. <laughs> oh, 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 the email address so you can send stuff in. I was not expecting that to happen at all. Well, thank you for the props, but um, shall we move on? I think that mm. the guys at home would love to send things in. So just get a grown up's help and you can show whatever you've been working on, Lego or otherwise. Mm. Mm. Well, should we go check out what they've been sending in, in oh, the gallery? The gallery, let's all go. Right. Let's go on three, one, two, three. Let's, let's all, all go, go to the, the gallery. gallery. What's up? It's Chris from Chris Reviews and I'm here this week again to review something so that you don't have to and uh, I hope that you're enjoying my review so far. Thanks so much for all the subscribes and the likes and the comments and the shares. It just, it just does my heart a world of good. So thank you for making me really famous in the internet. So today I'm going to be reviewing something that's going to protect you from the sun. We know that summer's just around the corner and it gets really hot, especially where I'm from. So uh, sun protection is super, super important so you don't get burnt. And uh, I've gone and gotten myself 
um, some some I think this is a new brand of of spray on sunscreen uh, see there focus yep cool um, I don't recognize the packaging again I, I forgot my glasses uh, I'll find them at some point, but I, I, I still need to be protected from the sun. So I figured I should probably get this and, and uh, you know, give it a go. And, and if it works, I'll, I'll rate it and review it. And you guys can go and get some for yourself and protect yourself from the sun. So I'm going to give it this a go and I'll see if it protects me from the sun. All right. I can't read the instructions, but I know that I need to make sure that I kind of hold my breath when I spray normal sunscreen. So. You know, this should be no different, so hold your breath, don't get it in your eyes, it's probably a good idea to kind of close your eyes. So um, give it a good shake as well, and make sure that it's nice and mixed up. Cool, Ooh, it's got a different nozzle than I'm used to, but let's see how we go. Now, I always make a point of doing my face first, because you know, then I don't forget, you know, one of the most important parts, this is the money maker, so let's, uh, let's go for it. Um, it feels like maybe it needs a bit more sort of shaking up, perhaps. It's, it's kind of come out in a bit of a, a bit of a white sort of, you know, it's not really covering the skin. So I'll, I'll give it another shake and we'll see, maybe the arm, we'll try the arm. Mm, um, yeah, I don't know, it's, I mean it's got more coverage but it's not quite, it's not quite there. It's not dispersing as much as uh, I'm used to with spray sunscreens. Um, maybe just a bit more on the ears. I don't know. It smells good. Um, hmm. Well, it might rub in, I guess. I could probably just rub it in and, yeah, I'll do that. That might be, yeah, that's good. Excellent. I'm gonna make sure to protect the beard as well. Oh, that's great. Ah, my eyes. Grr. Well, j -Rev, I think that I'm gonna, um, I might try a different sunscreen this summer. This one, while it smells nice, I don't know that it's gonna give me the coverage that I need to be in the sun. So, um, I'm gonna give this one out of five beards. Uh, it's, it's not quite my cup of tea, but um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and, and hit that bell button, notification button, so you can see when I've got a new review up. And, and I'll see you next week. All right, bye. Have you ever been in a hurry? Why does it always feel like the last 30 seconds before you go out the front door there's just a billion things to do all at the same time. Especially on a school morning, you have to get your bag, you have to pack your recess, you have to put your shoes on, you have to make sure you've got all the right things for the day. It can just feel really stressful. Now, we can all admit that sometimes it's because we weren't organized, but actually just sometimes in life, it can just be really busy. There's lots of things on. And sometimes because life feels a bit busy, sometimes that can make us feel a bit worried. Sometimes it can all feel a little bit too much. We can feel a bit overwhelmed and a little bit stuck. Now, if you've been following along with us for the last two weeks, you would be very familiar with this guy. Hello. What's your name? I'm Moses. Hey, Moses. Hi. Now, we're picking up today's story from the point where Moses and his people, so God's people, the Israelites, they were finally free. Yay! Pharaoh, the bad guy, had finally said, off you go. See ya. I'm, I'm the Pharaoh again. Hi, the Pharaoh. So Moses. Me. Leading God's people who were finally free, head off towards the Dead Sea. And they were like, yay, we're free. This is awesome. Woohoo. Uh, when all of a sudden Pharaoh changed his mind. Hmm. I've changed my mind. And said, actually, you're not free. Come back. So poor Israelites were stuck. Uh-oh. Between a giant sea <gasps> and Pharaoh and his army. <gasps> How do you think that they might have been feeling? I think that they felt pretty stuck. You see, life had been really busy for them and they'd been working really hard for Pharaoh and all that they wanted was rest. 
All that they wanted was to feel safe and secure, and that's the total opposite of where they found themselves. And JREV, I have to be really honest with you. Sometimes when life's been really busy for a long time and we feel really stuck, we thought maybe things were going to be different and they're not, it can be easier to just go, well, do you know what? I give up. I may as well go back to how it was because things will never, ever change for me. It's always going to be like this. So sometimes we tend to go back to the thing that we know best, even if it's not safe, because it's familiar. So sometimes we go back to the thing that feels familiar because we think it's safe, but really it's not, and it's not what's best for us. See, God has a plan for us, and we've talked about that for the past couple of weeks. God's plan for us is for good. It's for good things, for things that help us feel free and safe. So what's going to happen to Moses in this story? Hmm, let's find out. Hey, Moses. Yes? Uh, what do you think is going to happen for you now? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. See, Moses did a clever thing. He knew he felt stuck. He knew his people felt stuck. So instead of just staying there and going, gee, I feel stuck, he remembered God is with him and he can talk to him about anything. So that's exactly what he did. Uh, God, a uh, little help. And God was like, it's okay, Moses. Uh, I've got your back. I've got a plan. Leave it with me. You just need to be still and trust me. Okay, gang, just, um, just sit tight. Just trust God's got our back. And do you know what happened next. God parted the sea. <gasps> God is so big that he literally scooped back the water so that the Israelites led by Moses could travel safely through the middle. Yeah, come on guys, let's go. Woo Wait, come back. I will get on. Whoa! Whoa! Water! My only weakness. I regret nothing. So, I don't know what's going on for you today. I don't know where you found yourself today watching this video. But I want to tell you, if you feel like life's a little bit crazy, a little bit chaotic, maybe you're not sure if you're feeling safe right now, I want to remind you that God is with you. He is for you. He's got your back. And all that you need to do is be still and remember that he's there and trust him. The other thing I want to remind you is that God is really good at putting other people in our life along our little life path to check in with us and make sure that we're safe. So if you're finding yourself not feeling safe today, can I encourage you to talk to a grown-up, maybe a teacher, maybe someone that you live with, maybe an auntie or an uncle or even grandma or grandpa, someone that you know that's safe, like an adult friend from church, and let them know that maybe life's a bit chaotic and you might need some help. So if you don't remember anything else from today, I want you to remember this. God's got your back. You just need to be still. Did you say God's going to quack? He's got a duck bill? No, I said God's got your back. You just need to be still. Today's memory verse is from Exodus 14, 14. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Let's do it one more time. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Let's pray. God, we thank you that you're always with us. Please help us to remember that you're with us when life feels crazy or scary or busy, when we feel like we're up against big things. Help us to stay calm, to be still, and remember that you're with us. Amen. Hey, j -Rev, guess what? It's time for our weekly challenge. So this week, we're going to get you to do five minutes of shh. Are you going to do that for five minutes? Well, that's impressive lung capacity, but that's not what I'm asking for. Jero, what we're going to be doing is... Are you quite done? Please. Please. Thank you. 
so. You said five minutes of shh. Okay, can I explain? Thank you. So, j -Rev, we are going to get you to find a place that is quiet. Maybe it's a little bit dark, so you don't get any distractions from lights and stuff. Maybe it's your bedroom. And I want you to find a comfortable place to lay down. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to spend just five minutes talking to God. And I want you to be breathing slowly in that time. Maybe put your hands on your belly. And I want you to see how big you can make your belly stick out as you breathe in. And then breathe it all out. All the while you're going to be talking to God. And uh, I think that that's going to be really helpful just to be still and to know that God is there. That's not, that's not helpful. Has it been five minutes? Yes, yet? I think it's been five minutes, j -Rev. So um, I'm going to go and have some five minutes of shh on my own because Sarah's just getting a little bit extra here. You so. said five minutes of shh. I'm just doing what you said to do. Okay, um, I'm going to leave her to it. I'll see you next week, j -Rev. Bye. Mum, Sarah keeps shushing me and I keep, I need some quiet you time. You said five minutes. She just keeps shushing every time I try and talk.